I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up Statement. Gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away I could play a million mind games, but instead I say Something not illogical, something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go, make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible If you just believe, you could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind, I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this is all about the easiest, the fastest, uh, the, the most efficient way of living this life. We can see that um, without science, majority of us here won't be in school. Are we starting from the food that we're taking? What about the transportation? What about the mind that I'm using that is making it easy for you people to hear me? Think about anything in this life. Is it the table? The chair? Is it the rug? Even the shed that we have here. Everything is from science. As we are marking it, it is also being marked everywhere you go to in the world. 
everywhere. And um, today, we will see more. We will be taking quizzes on the science subjects. I uh, will be taking um, presentations. We will be taking um, yes, yeah, presentations, uh, exhibitions too, and um, other uh, programs like uh, fasted fingers, then puzzles. So all these revolve around what science. I welcome you once again. And I do hope that um, today will be a memorable day for every one of us. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Good day, everyone. I'm Desiree Ogumefmo, and I'll be representing the Max Plans Group. Before we start, we acknowledge God as the source of life and science. Simply in Max Planck's world, both religion and science require a belief in God. For believers, God is in the beginning, and for physicists, He is at the end of all considerations. To the former, He is the foundation, to the latter, the crown of the edifice of every generalized worldview. In this presentation, we will be discussing how science as a positive change foster collaboration between sciences and society. We recognize the presence of one of our parents in the house. Out of so many things he could be doing right now, he had decided to come here and see the beautiful, beautiful things that we are doing today. Ladies and gentlemen, with a thunderous clapping. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, young and old scientists, my name is Jubilee Ola Williams, and as a representative of Group 2, I will be talking about a scientist that showcased modesty and pure dedication, Neil Armstrong, an icon in aeronautics. Neil Armstrong was an American astronaut and aeronautical engineer who in 1969 became the first person to walk on the moon. He was also the commander of the Apollo 11 mission to the moon, accompanied by two other scientists which I will not be disclosing. He wasn't picked as a commander for the mission because he was good looking or because he was influential in the society, but because he had a flowing river of zeal, commitment and resilience, allowing him to be the cool and calm commander that he is, making him able to take out tax at any time of the day, at any place, with no pressure. On the next contestant's um, Pythagoras, that's a second of the video. A round of applause, a round of applause. A round of applause. Hello, everyone. I'm Otebe Abimifunua and I welcome everyone to this year's Science Day event, Science with Society. The interaction between science and society ensures that knowledge is exchanged, tested and reflected between various interest groups. Science is one of the most important channels of knowledge. It has a specific role as well as a specific function for the benefit of the society. <laughs> The trust, the trust the society has in science has been the motivator for scientists to be able to invent and make and make life comfortable for us, creating a trying to create a world, a, a paradise on earth for us, while uncovering various discoveries and building inventions. Your presentation should be about the scientists. Who is the person? Yes, biography. Where was he born? What did he do during that time? 
That, that is what I was expecting you people to just do. He was born so 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 year, the year, the um, um, why was he, you know, growing up, how was life to him, then how did he get about being a scientist? Is it when he was young or when he started working? These are the things that you need to tell us. After that, tell us the impact of his innovation at that time. How is it useful to everybody? Nobody told me about navigation of distances. You don't even know the application. When you want to navigate your distance, when you are driving, when you are doing your survey. So I was expecting that impact. The real life uses of their um, inventions or innovations. Don't forget science is for everybody. So people here, the, your audience is not just, is, it, they are not scientists. Some of them are not scientists. So you need to bring them down to that level, okay? So next time you are doing your presentation, you have it in the mind that you are exposing people to science. You are exposing people to the lives of these scientists. Those people are people without any knowledge, no prior knowledge, okay? So, um... That's for competition one. For competition two, I have Neil Armstrong, Shoile Farida, what is the Earth's only natural satellite? The Earth's only natural satellite. A. Sun. B. Mars. C. Venus. D. Moon. Moon. Okay, final answer, correct. Moon. Okay, number one. All animals need food, hair, and dash to survive. A. House. B. Water. C. Chocolate. D. Fruits. Water. Final answer? Yes, sir. Correct. Number four, which one is a four-bearing animal? Four-bearing animal, that is F-U-R, four-bearing animal. A, N, B, crocodile, C, tortoise, D, cat. Cat. Correct. Pick your number. Number three. Who invented the first functional telephone? Carlinus, Nikola Tesla, Neil Armstrong, Alexander Graham Bell. Final answer? Final answer?
Hasan Bonus. Can you give the mic to them? Alexander Graham Bell. Correct. Two points. Number seven. Number seven. Hello, please. Which part of plants on the Photosynthesis. Which part of plant conducts photosynthesis? Fruit, leaf, root, trunk. Root. Bonus. Leaf. Correct. Your number now. Number six. Six. Twenty-five degrees centigrade. Fifty degrees centigrade. Zero degrees centigrade. Hundred degrees centigrade. Freezing. Freezing point. Is the largest land animal lion, tiger, elephant, rhinoceros? Elephant. Correct. Number nine. Number nine. Frog is a or an dash reptile. Mammal, amphibian, in. Mama. Bonus. Reptile. To the audience. Amphibian. Amphibian. <laughs> Number 10. Amphibian can live where and where. Good. So a frog can live both on the land and in water. Number 10. Dash helps pump blood through the entire body. Dash helps pump blood through the entire body. Heart. Correct. This is the last one. I have no other question, but I want to uh, pick between 11 and 15. I have questions for you. Pick any number between 11 and 15. 11. 11, thank you. Which scientist proposed the free laws of motion? Which scientist? Which scientist proposed the free laws of motion? I said Newton. Thomas Alva Edison, Neil Armstrong, Max Planck. Isaac Newton. Correct. Thank you. At the end of this round, at the end of this round, this round, Max Planck, I mean Neil Armstrong, has six seventeen points. Max Planck has 22 points. Thank you. Next, Michael Ayer. Put your hands together for them as they come forward. For Carlinians, I have Otto Lamy Rim, Toma and Lingena. Put your hands together for them.
Okay. Number five, Carlinius. A, Basso. B, Kerosene. C, Petro. D, Candle. Petro. Bonus. What energy comes from motion? What energy comes from motion? A. Hello. Potential energy. Electrical energy. Kinetic energy. Gravitational energy. Gravitational energy. Bonus. Kinetic energy. Pardon? Then your question. Dash is used to measure the body temperature. Thank you. Bye bye. To Number, nine. Number nine. A place where two or more bones meet in your body is called the joint. Correct. <laughs> Those organisms that depend on another organism for survival are called. Mammals, parasites, dependent insects. Parasites. Parasites. Five months. Number four. Number four. What are animals which eat that eat both plants and animals called? Only boss. Okay, oh, five marks. <laughs> Next. Number six. Number six. The removal of the top layer of soil is called. The removal of the top layer of soil is called erosion, pollination, pollution, irrigation. Pollution. Bonus. Bonus. We are ready. Erosion. Right. Like I said, consult your partner before you say it. Consult your partner. Next. Number seven. Seven. Okay. The bones, the bones of the fingers and toes are called femur, rib, phalange, and or humerus. She has a way of saying it. Following. When she says it like that, she's correct. But when she's fast, she's wrong. One back. One. Okay. Thank you. Similar body cells group together to form a or an dash. Similar body cells group together to form a or an organ, tissue, blood vessels, joints. Correct, tissue.
three. So number three now. Um, which of uh, which is the closest planet to the sun? Venus, Mars, Mercury, Earth. The closest. Mercury. Correct. Fantastic. At the end of this, 17 points to them. Carl Liners. Pythagoras, 22 points. Pythagoras and Max Point should be ready for the final. Thank you. Six. Which of the following is an example of discontinuous variation? A. Height of students. B. Complexion of beauty contestants. C. Blood group of patients. D. Weight of weight lifters. C. Blood group of patients. Blood group of patients. Correct. <laughs> you people are not cheering them Number up. four. Number four. The Arifat name of the compound represented by the molecular formula NaClO4. NaClO4 is what is it? Sodium tetraoxochlorate 1. Sodium tetraoxochlorate 4. Sodium tetraoxochlorate 6. Sodium tetraoxochlorate 7. Bonus. Wrong. Did you calculate it? You didn't calculate. You saw question like that, and you want to talk about the uh, the chemical formula. I mean the name. You did not calculate. When you um, minus one minus eight to give you minus seven. Take together side as plus seven. All right. Give a round of applause. Number five. Number. Five. Five. Which of the following instruments is used in detecting the presence of radiation? What will you use? Cathode ray tube, gigamola counter, mass spectrometer, X-ray tube. B gigamola counter. Correct. Question for you. Right. Number ten. Ten. The purpose of treating poor soil with lime is to increase the quantity of dash. A. Nitrogen. B. Calcium. C. Phosphorus. D. Sulfur. Lime. Calcium. Calcium. Correct. Yes, that is lime. Who can tell me what is the formula for? I mean, what is the molecular formula of lime? From your limestone, you are sitting here. So you don't know limestone. Uh huh. Why are you scared? Lime is a simple thing to know. Thank you. This is the last question. What is the percentage composition of oxygen in K2, Cr2, O7? Percentage composition of oxygen. Given that the molecular mass is 294, that of oxygen is 16, 
the one of potassium K is 39 and the one of chromium is 52. What is the percent composition? I give you just 45 seconds. D. D. What is D? Yes. Yes. Correct. We have uh, a tie, 20 points, 20 points. So we are going to pick one question. I'm strong. Pick one. 15. 15, thank you. Which of these has the highest penetrating power? The highest. Alpha particle, beta particle, gamma ray, radio wave. Gamma ray. Gamma ray, correct. Now my dad will say, which of the following is correct about light and sound wave? A. Both of them are associated with energy transfer. B. Both of them need material media for propagation. C. They are both longitudinal waves. Mm, their velocities in air are equal. Mm. B, both of them need material media for propagation. Bonus. They are both longitudinal waves. Audience. Audience. A, which is? They are associated with energy transfer, correct. Before I say that, Max Planck has 20 points. Neil Armstrong, the winner, has 25 points. They won by luck, after all. Yes, no. They won from the back. But put your hands If you care for your brain, sleep eight hours a day. If you care for your appendix, use lemon regularly. My, na my name is Serena. If you care for your intestine, replace junk food with vegetables. If you care for your stomach, avoid cold food. Thank you. My name is Luciana. If you care for your nose, take mint regularly. If you care for your heart, reduce excess of soap. My name is Obaluluwa. If you care for your kidneys, empty your bladder at night before going to bed and drink less water at night. Good day, everyone. My name is Kunle Abiola Feikunayomi. If you care for your lungs, do not smoke. And if you care for your eyes, massage your feet with oil before going to bed. My name is David Franklin Akitude, and you can never be wrong in taking fruits and water. For an adequate and healthy lifestyle, I recommend taking fruits and water daily. You have heard it from us all. Take care of your health. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Start.
there is a tie. Is there a tie? What is it? I don't think so. This invention was made by five basic materials. Carton, substitute sticks, syringe, and a small pipe. What is this liquid inside? This is water mixed with food coloring. Okay. So it's just separate, so differentiation of what each one does. So this is for right, this is for left. Go ahead and slap the shirt. Wow. We believe that these two inventions went to the higher, the higher thing. What are the concepts that is inside behind it? This invention, if it was substituted by a iron and thicker material, and if the two people was substituted by um iron wood, and if AI was applied to this, this could create an invention which could work in the kitchen, helping like four hands. Which will also boost the um, production of companies and factories. The eye determines um, the, whether the water is uh, I mean, uh, determines the color. So once it's lower than uh, this, that is returning. But can you do it to return? Read it. You should be able to return the water. Okay? Because the water fountain, the water is returned. Like this one now, it's just going now. Okay? So that's why I recommend you to do it. So think about it. It's just the best.